Hey there, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We will forever love her for her role as St. Clair James yes. on the 90s hit TV show Living Single, but since then, she's gone on to do it all. Child, from writing books to inspirational speaking, and now she's on the road with a new comedy tour. Please welcome the very talented actress and comedian, Kim Cole! Yes. Yes. to be here. Oh I'm my God. We are so excited. Man, what? Legendary. <laughs> no. Yes. So Kim, recently on your um your Twitter, mm -hmm. you you talked about how you and legendary Aretha Franklin um how you all were associated. Tell us how yes. you met the amazing illustrious. Yes, mm -hmm. I was actually in New York at the Today Show, which is iconic. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. And uh, it was my wow. first time at the Today Show. Wow. And I had a chance to, I was backstage and they were taking me to go do a something. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, the queen right. of soul yes. in the room. And I was like, oh, hi, may I take a picture with you? Hello. And she was like, hello, Kim. I said, she knows who I am. It's so so we took several photos yeah. and she was just lovely and warm and the queen the queen yes, the, the queen. queen speaking of the queen yes you started your way into the pageant world early <laughs> on and as a plus size model yes take so, us all the way back yeah, all the way back yes so I started out you, you know one of the first things I did while still working a full time job mind you, mind you uh, was I was a plus size model mm -hmm. and this is back when it wasn't like as you know in you know the thing yeah right now, yeah just plus size. <laughs> I love it. Look at this picture. This very, very retouched. Yes. <laughs> it's retouched within an inch of its life. <laughs> so uh, that was many, many years ago. So anyway, uh, uh, I entered into a beauty pageant mm -hmm. for plus size women. This is actually after I dropped in and out of college a few times. So I was like maybe 20 or so. And I didn't know what to do. And they told us that there was going to be a talent competition. And I was like, I don't have any pageant talent. Yeah. And so I made up a comedy routine based on how stupid I think beauty pageants are. Oh, my God. But it was genius because it sounds scary. Right. Right. I knew it was going to be an audience full of fluffy girls. So if I made fun of the skinny girls with their little silly sequin outfits, oh, yeah. <laughs> how do you twirl a baton and say you want to be Miss America? That's not a talent. That's a skill. Uh -huh. And what the audience didn't know is I really do know how to twirl a baton. So I ripped off my dress and I was wearing a silly little sequin outfit, but in a size 16. Yeah. And I twirled my baton to the tune of Thriller. Yeah. Oh the, my thriller. God. Thriller. <laughs> thriller. And I won first runner up. Yeah. yeah. But what's important is that that's the night that I discovered that comedy is what I should be doing because mm. I felt the waves of love and laughter come coming at me from the audience. I was like, oh my oh, goodness, this is what feeling. I should be doing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, so. you came from one of my most favorite shows mm, of like all time. time. Right. All time? <laughs> of all time. Right. What's that? You transitioned from in living color uh -huh. yeah. to living single. Yes. Yeah. You, oh my God, what was it like working on living color? Because living color was turned. I mean, it was dancer. <laughs> it was, it was, it, it was everything. DJ. Like, what was that well, I'll like? I'll say this. It was an iconic experience, iconic show, because there, never, there hadn't been anything like right. that. Right. Mm -hmm. put together this incredible ragtag group of people that were hysterical and funny. Hysterical. I would say that it was a weird place. It was a, it was a great place to work and a weird place to work because I was only there for one year. Mm -hmm. It was highly competitive. Yeah. And when you work in a place when where everybody has the same last name, it's a it's a okay. whole other mm -hmm. level of energy. Okay. Uh -huh. However, okay. after I was left after the first year and then moved right into living single about yeah. eighteen months later. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I would say it was the it was a great first start in show business and a great first start to understanding how Hollywood may or may not work. So yes, it was, and that it was, was a powerful. good lesson for you to learn powerful. early yeah. on in your career. Yeah. Very Absolutely. Much so, very much so, so after the pageant, you felt this wave of energy being a comedian, mm -hmm. and then you step over to the Apollo. So that right. was like yeah. your big, big break, it was would you huge. say? I, I consider Showtime the Apollo my big, big break, because I started stand-up in 1985, and a lot of people don't even know I started out as a stand-up comedian. Yeah. So eight, so the pageant was maybe 82. Mm -hmm. By 85, I was in the clubs. By 88 or so, or whenever the showtime at the Apollo started, mm -hmm. I was I was on that show. And I became known as that girl from the Apollo. In fact, that's how Keenan found me. He's like, you're that girl from the Apollo. I wasn't even Kim Coles, yeah. that girl wow. from the Apollo. And so that I consider my, because that was how I got on TV. Yeah. And you know that was a big deal. And New York was really exciting yeah it still yes. is but that Ooh. was the time yes yes and then that led to everything else you see so you're yeah. sweet your spirit is so I'm sweet you. <laughs> I, I love oh black people right. <laughs> you know you are. I, would, you know, I, listen, I do a lot of talk shows right but there's never been a sister there's never been a woman say your spirit is so sweet yeah, yeah. i love it thank you we thank love you. our people down here at the circle yes absolutely <laughs> the sister circle yes. i'm home <laughs> we love our we love our people
Yeah. And it. you can catch Kim in Love on Her at yeah. the Alameda County Atlanta Comedy Theater yes. all weekend long and in a city near you. Coming up, Kim gives us the scoop on Living Single's 25th anniversary yes. marathon on TV One. Stay right where you are. <laughs> yes. She's like, I'm home. I'm yeah. home. I'm home. I'm home. My ears are getting hot. Back it up, my ears are getting old. You know something, Sinclair? I'm really glad we're taking this class together. Mm -hmm. I really like spending time with you. Yeah. Yes, welcome yeah. back. We're excited about TV One's upcoming Living Single Marathon. Yeah, can you yeah. believe it's been that long? 20, you know, I can't believe it's been that long. Wow. I cannot, because yeah. life goes on, it goes on, and the show has never left the air even after it was canceled. So it's, yes. it's kind of, I get those residual checks and you buy myself love those a new, checks. Checks. A new synthetic right. wig. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every quarter, a, new, yes. a brand new wig. Yes. yes. I love it. But speaking of wigs, honey, my wig almost fell off when I saw the kissing of Shamar Moore. Yes. Because yes. I love me some Shamar Moore. He's what so, was that like? First of all, oh my he's God. A, so kind, such a gentleman, and he slipped me the tongue. Woo! You know, he's a sitcom, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. a, a, a soap opera star. Yeah, right. And it, look at my eyes. Uh, <laughs> uh, he had never had his, he hadn't had his first on-screen kiss, and he was so excited. You're my first on-screen kiss. I said, well, thank you, Mr. Shamar Moore. He's yeah. so, such a sweetheart. And every time I run into him, he's just a gentleman. And a, wow. And a doll, baby. wow. Just what you see is what you get. Absolutely, kind, absolutely. Kind and handsome. Where did woo-woo-woo come from? Oh, uh, so woo-woo-woo is actually mine. It's something my mother used to say to me and my baby brother when words would fail her. So woo-woo-woo, mm. oh, you fell down. Oh, oh. sweetie, woo-woo. <laughs> and I, and I ad lib that on the set of Living Single. Oh, woo woo woo, Khadija. And the producers uh, were like, I don't know what that is, but that's staying in the show. Yeah. And so that has remained. And it means I love you, I see you, I, I hold you, I got your back. So yeah. the energy behind it, people see it and use it. Yeah. Yes. I need to steal that and put that in the circle. Yes. Yes. Right. Somebody's woo, woo, having a time. Oh, woo 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 woo. woo. It just Next time time to sing. Oh, woo 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 woo. woo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you added another woo on the end. Woo, Make woo, it your own. Yes. Right, 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 right. So, what is your favorite episode out of all? All 25 oh. years. It's actually an episode called Misleading Lady, mm -hmm. and it's where I dress up as a man. Mm. I mean, sideburns, a uh, little afro. I look like Sinbad. It's got a goatee, yeah. and I call myself, you know, James Overton. Yeah. And I become all like, yeah, what's up? And hard. And hard. Yeah. Uh, to, because uh, I was auditioning for a show or something within the show. And so mm -hmm. it's my favorite episode, because they had to bind everything down, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and they kept coming back up. It was a whole other oh, wow. show. <laughs> it was a whole situation. Exactly. It was a whole situation. Yes, it was awesome. Good. Well, we love you so much, and yes, don't forget Again, to tune in to the Living Single Marathon on TV One. It starts tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, and it runs all the way through Sunday at 5 a.m. Eastern. And, and the conversation always continues on SisterCircleTV.com and all social media platforms. Kim Coles, everybody.